with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Make friends for yourselves through your use of this world's goods, so that when they fail you, a lasting reception will be yours. If you can trust a man in the little things, you can also trust him in greater. While anyone unjust in a slight manner is also unjust in greater. If you cannot be trusted with elusive wealth, who will trust you with lasting? And if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's money, who will give you what is your own? No servant can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or be attentive to the one and despise the other. You cannot give yourself to God and money. The Pharisees, who were avaricious men, heard all this and began to deride him. He said to them, You justify yourselves in the eyes of men, but God reads your hearts. What man thinks important, God holds in contempt. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our responsorial psalm summarizes our readings for today. It says, Happy the man who fears the Lord. And I think when we are afraid of God, it is not, it doesn't mean na tayo takot dahil meron siyang kaparusahan ibibigay. But the Lord or the gospel, or the, even the sponsor would say, would express something different. Ang pagkatakot sa Diyos ay simula ng kabanalan. And so therefore, kapag tayo takot sa Diyos, ayaw natin siya ay masasaktan sa paggawa ng ating kamalian. Kaya ang gagawin natin, kapag tayo takot sa Diyos, ay yung kabutihan ang ating gagawin. Yung kanyang ikasisya yung mga bagay na mabuti ang ating bibigyan ng uh, kaganapan sa ating araw-araw na gawain. Ang mga pagkatakot ng tao ay nagsisimula sa ating kahinaan. Takot tayo halimbawa na mawala ang isang bagay dahil ito'y mahalaga sa atin. Takot tayo na mabigo dahil alam natin ito'y masakit sa ating kalooban. Takot tayo na mawalay sa ating mahal sa buhay dahil alam natin tayo malulungkot. Takot tayo na mawala ng kapangyarihan dahil ito ay mawawala sa atin ang security. And so therefore, the fear here is something very physical or sabihin natin pang sarili lamang. But when we allow the fear of God to take charge of our lives, it releases us from any kind of bondage it released us from any kind of uh, sabihin natin attachment dahil ang pinakahari natin ay ang kalooban ng Diyos. In our first reading towards the end, we heard from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, sabi dito, My God in turn will supply your needs fully in a way worthy of His magnificent riches in Christ Jesus. And so therefore, if you believe that word, my God in turn will supply your needs fully. So anong dapat nating itatakot? Samantalang ang Diyos ay magkakaloob ng lahat ng bagay ng mga pangangailangan natin. And our Lord challenged us. Sabi niya sa Ebanghelyo, No servant can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or be attentive to the one and despise the other. And so what is the point of the gospel? Our whole priority should always be ang Diyos. 
Kaya kapag ikaw ay nakasentro sa Diyos, anumang mga pagkatapot meron ka, nawawala yun. Pero ang hamon para mawala yun, kinakailangan matapot tayo sa Diyos. At ito yung ating pinakalakas at ito ang magbibigay sa atin ng tamang pagganap sa araw-araw ng ating buhay. Alam nyo, hindi madali itong gawin sapagkat maraming paghamon, maraming kahinaan, maraming tentasyon sa ating buhay. Pero sa isang banda, ang lakas na pwede nating hugutan ng ating kapangyarihan ay walang iba din kung hindi ang banal na Espiritu Santo. Kaya kapag nangihina tayo at ang nangunguna sa atin personal na pagkatakot, sabihin natin, Lord, tulungan mo akong matakot sa iyo para nang sa ganon ay mapaglabanan ko ang personal kong pagkatakot. At yung takot na yon ay magiging isang daan upang sumentro tayo sa kanyang kalooban. Alam niyo ang isa sa pagkatakot ko noong nakaraang birthday ko, no? ay simple lang. October 20 or October 19 na ikyan si Dawid. Diba? Kaling niyo? And uh, yung buong uh, norte, especially yung Pagagaraw, Ilocos, yung Apayaw, Kalina, yan ay sinalanta ng malakas na bagyo. And October 20 was my birthday. And you know, every year na meron akong birthday, meron po akong ginaganap na medical dental mission. At yung nakaraang birthday ko, October 20, ang nakinabang po noon ay mga kapatid natin sa Tayabas, Quezon. And so, noong October 20 na yun, dumating yung caterer, sa garden po yung party ng gabi, biglang bumuhos ang malakas na ulan. Takot ang nangyari sa akin. sa ko, Lord, kapag ito, kapag ka binuhos mong ulan mamaya ang gabi, eh walang mangyayari medical mission. Kaya para mawala yung ating personal na takot, natakot ako sa Diyos. Sabi ko, Lord, Ikaw ang bahala. Ikaw ang makapangyarihan. Ibuhos mo ang pagpinakamalakas na ulan sa alas 12 ito. Alas 12 ng tanghali. Pero please, mamaya ang gabi, wala na ha. Alam niyo ba? Nawala talaga yung ulan. At ang sabi ng mga tao, Father, ang lakas mo kay Lord. Sabi ko, alam mo kasi, alam niya na marami na nangailangan doon sa payabas ng mga pasyente. Kapag hindi niya pinahin ko, walang medical dental mission na mangyayari. And you know what? Around 823 medical patients ang nagamot natin at around 237 dental cases ang natulungan natin. So yun po yung naging bunga ng pagkatapot ko sa Diyos. And because parang mayroon na pong guilt, sabi ko, Lord, sige na, patilain mo. I-announce ko mamaya, magkakaroon tayo ng relief operation para sa biktima ng lawin. And so before the final blessing ng gabi, I announced yung pong pangangailangan ng mga kapatid natin doon sa, uh, ang aking naging uh, announcement ay para sa Northern Luzon. And uh, my announcement is from October 20 hanggang October 27, yung po yung relief operation campaign at yung deadline 27 at 12 midnight. And dahil yung 28, yun po yung pag-impake, and 29, dinala namin yung relief goods sa Lawad, sa dahil sa Lawad. At ang tumanggap ay si Bishop Reynaldo Mayumba, yung Bishop ng Lawad. And you know, my own experience of fear is something that gives me more consolation and strength. Just imagine, sabi ko, ganyan pa yung mabibigay nakadalawa pong sasakyan ng mga goods na pinagal namin. Isang van at saka isang L300 na punong-puno ng iba-ibang relief goods coming from different people. And to think of the campaign period, wala pang one week. Ang daming dumalo, ang daming tumulo, ang daming nagbigay through my own announcement. And I believe it is the announcement of the Lord who touches the hearts of those people who help. And this is the fruit of fear. When we are afraid of God, God will give us the strength and the blessing that we need 
so that he will going to we will going to fulfill the mission that God entrusted to each of us. And together with our mother, remember when she responded, she was so afraid also. But when we let go of that fear and allow the, the, the power of God to take charge of her, she became the channel of salvation sa humanity. Sabi nga niya, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Why? Because she experienced fear within her. And so let us pray for that fear. A fear that will help us to be more creative. A fear that help us to, root our, to become more uh, rooted in faith. A fear that help us to appreciate the suffering. A fear that help us to appreciate our own human weakness. So that we can find strength from God who is the source of life and blessing. Please rise. God entrusts us with gifts to be used for His glory and the good of other people. We pray that we may become responsible for all this and be worthy of His trust. Our response, Lord, sustain us in your ways. Lord, sustain us in your ways. That as a church we may be committed in our ministry to the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, sustain us in your ways. That government officials may be responsible and honest in the use of government resources, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, sustain us in your ways. That we may overcome avarice by daily acts of generosity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, sustain us in your ways. That the poor and the sick may find support from concerned and kind-hearted citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, sustain us in your ways. That the dead may receive the eternal riches of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, sustain us in your ways. In the silence of our hearts, we include our personal prayer or petitions. In a special way, during this month of November, we invoke the prayer of intention para sa mga kapatid nating yumaw. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, sustain us in your ways. Heavenly Father, help us that we may not be carried away by the lure of money, but seek the real wealth of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> 